In contract law, fraudulent misrepresentation occurs if a party makes a false claim that induces another party to enter into a contract. But what if the false claim is only a statement about a law? The court in National Conversion Corporation v. Cedar Building Corporation determines whether a statement, given as a representation of fact, can give rise to a claim of fraudulent misrepresentation. In 1965, National Conversion signed a five-year lease with Cedar Building to rent an industrial building. National Conversion planned to use the building to convert restaurant garbage into fertilizer. Both companies were represented by lawyers during the lease negotiations. In the lease, Cedar Building included a representation that the building was located in an unrestricted zone, without any zoning limitations for creating fertilizer. During the negotiations, National Conversion's lawyer asked to take a break to verify that the building was in an unrestricted zone. Cedar Building's lawyer told National Conversion that it wasn't necessary to verify because the landlords, quote, own the property and we know the area, unquote. Cedar Building's lawyer reiterated that the building was in an unrestricted zone and that the Cedar Building landlords, quote, guarantee it, unquote. After the lease was signed, National Conversion installed special equipment in the building. However, before National Conversion could operate the facility, the City of New York filed violations stating that the zoning district didn't allow National Conversion to operate a garbage conversion business. Three years before the lease was signed, the building zoning district changed from an unrestricted zone to an M1 district. M1 districts had stringent regulations for garbage conversion that National Conversion couldn't meet at the building. National Conversion sued Cedar Building for fraud and breach of warranty. Cedar Building countersued for rent and possession of the building. Cedar Building argued that any misrepresentation in the lease was a misrepresentation of law, not fact. The trial court found in favor of National Conversion and awarded National Conversion $70,000. Cedar Building appealed. The appellate division affirmed. Cedar Building appealed again, this time to the New York Court of Appeals.